All right, you're looking at the back side of the uh, Kanavi uh, Actions 54 inch vertical. Um, and just a quick look. Obviously, these dampers need replacing. I'm going to get brand new dampers. And I'm going to replace this felt as well. That's the damper rail felt and um, hammer rest or stop felt. So um, I'm going to be replacing those. And uh, also these hammers here. And this is really where I stopped the last video. So basically, when taking samples, you see here in sections, we're looking, we'd be looking toward the piano player is the vantage point we have now. So uh, you got three sections here. That's the first section, bass section, um, and the second section, your uh, tenor, and your treble here. And um, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be pulling samples from each section. So I'm going to take the first first and last each section this way the uh, hammer maker will know the angles first and last in the treble so the hammer maker will know angles they're basically wanting to duplicate these angles that you see these have you see the angles here and the base is different than what you have in the um, Second section, or tenor section, you can refer it. And you can look here, these two hammers. The angles are obviously different. That's because the strings are turned at a different angle. I'm going to walk back over here. And you can look where action was the bass strings. That first section is for this. So the hammers are turned at a different angle. Um, so that they can strike in the correct spot there. And obviously, in the in our second section, um, they're going to be turned really at an opposite angle. Um, I guess a complementary angle, you call that, or whatever. And um, and then you have that last section. Those hammers are actually even more straight up and down vertical. But that just gives you an idea. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is taking the first, first and last hammer in each section. I'm going to be numbering those hammers, and I'm going to not remove them from the shank and the shank is this this portion here now probably be better for me to show you when they're out but actually the piece of wood that the looks like a real small dowel the part that the uh, hammer is attached to that piece you see there moving so i'm going to be and someone is already labeled these. I don't know if you can see see an inscription on that. Um, looks like a O and an H. Uh, that may be the person that installed these. They put their signature on them. Some companies, I know Steinway will actually put Steinway on their hammer sets at the beginning of each section. Different companies do different things. But uh, in any case, I'm going to now remove these samples off, number them, and get them packed up to get shipped out so that we can get those things duplicated. This piano is going to need to be delivered in um, about three weeks' time, so I have got to hustle. So um, I'm going to get this off and running so that uh, these things can be getting done. Um, while I'm doing some of the other work. So if you have any comments, um, I have a form, pianos.proboards.com. Uh, you can also comment real easily here. You're watching this video on YouTube, uh, Beavers Piano TV channel on YouTube. And I have a Twitter account. So if you have a Twitter account, you can comment on Twitter, twitter.com at Beavers Piano. Uh, I also have a Facebook, um, I think they call it a fan page, uh, at facebook.com slash Piano Rebuilder. So uh, you can get in touch with me with one of those ways. Quickest to our YouTube and Twitter. And um, just give me some comments, whatever you think when you see some of this stuff. Uh, I love to talk about pianos. So, And you may sometimes in this shop, I, I also have a passion for old cars, stole cars and stuff. I uh, haven't done any in a while. But as you can see here, I've got some heads off of an old Camaro. 
here that uh, 